And we are moments away from the start of this match. You can see here the ladies out of Thailand getting ready. And this powerhouse squad, Valero Zurich, of course, we did mention they are the reigning bronze medalists in this competition. Qualified here via a wild card. In fact, there are four wild cards in this uh, competition. We will explain that in just a few moments. And of course, for uh, Valero Zurich, a lot of decorated players in their lineup. We will meet the starters now for both teams. We send it now to our venue announcer for that. Manila, welcome to the next game between Bolero Zurich and Bangkok Glass. Here are the referees. First referee, Taufik Budaya from Tunisia. Assisted by his colleague from Argentina, Hernan Casamichela. Now let's meet both teams. The starting six of Valero Zurich, player number three, Fabiola. Player number five, Dobriana Rabatseva. Number seven, Olesia Rahio. Captain with the number nine, Natalia Mamadova. Player number 15, now we can see the starting lineup now Orlova. for Zurich. We're going to have to get the use not only to the names, but also to pronounce some of these names here, uh, Denise. As, uh, of course, another popular player besides Fabiola de Souza will be the American Foluke Akinradewo. Yeah, she's uh, a renowned player from uh, the United States, and aside from her, of course, I'm expecting a good connection with Fabiola de Souza. There is Zoran Terzic, the head coach of Valero Zurich, of course, won a uh, European Championship as a head coach and just coming off a silver medal performance in the recent Rio Olympics. Here are the starters for Back Up Glass. Starting lineup here, we are very familiar with yes. most of these names, but we can also see that uh, Blumjit is not in the starting lineup to begin this one. Apinya Pong and uh, Get Par, they've been uh, solid defensively for Bangkok class the last time they were here. But again, all eyes will be on the two imports, Nguyen and of course, Ashley Frazier. There's Coach K. We're gonna take turns trying to pronounce his last name, Denise. <laughs> I'd rather just call him Coach K. All right. I'll try it. Kitty Pong, born Tarian Chief. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> and the white jerseys belonging to Bangkok Glass. And uh, of course, Bolero Zurich and the dark jerseys. Again, very interesting to note that there are only two local players on the Swiss side of Bolero Zurich. And they're dead serious of winning this all. They came very close, finishing third the last time around. So here we go. First serve will belong to the ladies from Thailand of Bangkok Glass. It's actually a pretty new team, only formed in 2014. Mm -hmm. But as soon as they were formed, they just dominated the oh, Thai leagues. Yeah, just a year after they right. won the AVC. Now we are underway here. In this one, there's going to be a cross-court attack. That's just going to be a little bit long. But we expect this first set to be a feeling out yeah. process because you know both teams don't really know each other, yeah. except for a few key players. Back up glass, star striking first. Frazier on the serve. A sharp serve. And that's a good put away that time. Coming from uh, Win Mokwa. Vakwa, of course, known primarily for her defense in the middle, getting the job done. You can see the very tall Ashley Frazier, who picked up a lot of fans when she was here the last time around in Binyan Laguna. Frazier, another good one. And 
finally some offense coming from Valero Zurich. So Alesha went back to that same spot. I mean, that was the first attack. At first attempt, she was trying to get that ball there. I, I was trying to overhear the way her name is pronounced. She is a young lady out of Ukraine. I think it's pronounced Rahiok. Rahiok. Okay. Let's see if uh, that'll stick. Attacking, going down the line. Good start here for Bangkok Glass. That's Willavan Apiyapong. Well, good target for Willavan. You know, seeing the defense of Bolero concentrated on that cross court. And you can see zone one was completely open. That's right. And again, this is going to be a learning process for both teams. Ladies from Thailand trying to take in how volleyball is in Switzerland and vice versa. Quick play, and there's the American scoring for Luque Akinradeo. And I'm expecting a lot of those quick plays. There's Bloomjit in the lineup, of course. Bloomjit, we expect that when she's she's in front right now, mm -hmm. so she's probably going to get a lot of opportunities depending on the reception. That's not a good one right there for Bangkok Glass. So we're tied at three. Now the serve belongs to the Ukrainian Olesha Rahio. Oh, wow. A great defense that time down the middle. And that will result in a point for Volero Zurich. That was a great uh, offensive block coming from Foluke Akinradevo. And you can see Volero not taking anything for granted you know, having a triple block in front of uh, an open attacker, uh, right. outside attacker. Rahiuk with another serve. This time coming from the back is Ashley Frazier. Also another back row attack, and that was a good one there. Coming from Valero Zurich. Let's take a look at the score. It is 5 to 3 right now, as well as our ultra fast sprite presented to us by PLDT Homo Terra Plan 699. Internet na Bam Familia. So they are going to uh, Rahiuk early here, Denise. Rahiuk on the serve. The defense at the net provided by Akin Radewa. Back from the back. And again, that back row option has been the primary weapon now for the young ladies out of Switzerland. Well, you know, it actually confuses the timing of the block just by a bit because you have to delay your block like a half second. Right. And look at Lumjit okay, uh, going up too early. Lumjit was all alone there. We're going to have a timeout early called by Bangkok Glass. So far, so good for Volero Zurich out of Switzerland. They're on top right now, 6-3. to three. Actually, it was Bangkok Glass that had a pretty solid start scoring the first two points. But all of a sudden, the offense, especially from the back row, started heating up for the young ladies out of Switzerland. Well, if you're at this level of competition, it doesn't matter if you yeah. go at the back. You're always an option. And serving, as in serving since yesterday, I would think, <laughs> is uh, Olesia... Rahiuk out of the Ukraine, and uh, she will come up short, so I guess we jinx that serve. <laughs> but that's enough to give a point to Bangkok Glass. And you know, when Bangkok Glass finished third in the uh, recent AVC Club Championship, that shocked a lot of people. Yeah, I think uh, everybody was surprised. Everybody was thinking that they would at least get the second place. Look at that triple block. No good against the attack of the captain, Natalia Mamadova. Out of Azerbaijan. So Mamadova now back to serve. They are up by three. 31 year old from Azerbaijan. That's a good combination play, but the set was a little low. Oh, that's a uh, violation, double violation. That's right. So D'Souza with a rare error. Of course, Fabiola D'Souza, we did mention earlier, is the reigning best center of this competition from last year. And those errors are keeping this one close. Just a two-point lead for Volero. One more attack from the open. Double block this time provided by Bangkok Glass. On the run, Blumkit. But it goes in. Did anybody oh, touch it? It will be out. 
I believe Bangkok Glass is looking for a check ball. Eight to five right now. And coming up to serve the American Foluke Akinradewo. Nice dying serve. Here comes Frazier. Right at the feet of Alessia Rayo. Well, Frazier taking advantage of the fact that she only had one blocker in right. front of her. Well, this ultra fast spike is presented to us by PLDT Home Altera. Plan 699, a internet na pampamilya. Two point lead for, Vol for Volero Zurich. Served by Plumjit. Combination play that is well defended at the net. From the back row, Plumjit will find the line. A good target by uh, Plumjit. The defender, Fabriana, was a. Uh, Kind of uh, compressed inside. That's right. Barely legal, actually, on the <laughs> on the attack there, just avoiding the line. So the hustle of Bangkok Glass has now trimmed this lead down to just one. D'Souza once again. It's going to be a drop coming from the offense of Valero Zurich. They have to give this one up. Down the middle, Bloom Jit, just a little short at the net. I think the set was a little too low for uh, Plumjet, and she couldn't really do anything about it. It's a good fight, though, being shown by Bangkok yes. Glass early. And Fabiola de Souza. Another good serve. They'll go to Frazier, who's now moved over to the open spot. Good defense at the net provided by Katarina Orlova out of Russia. One of the former European champions as well from 2014. Nova showing the length. Three-point lead now for Valero Zurich. Frazier will try again. Same result. Great defense now being shown at the net by Valero Zurich. Well, it's very easy to read the attack of Bangkok, especially with this last attack. I mean, Frazier was just standing there. There was no... The set wasn't based on a, on a quicker. So the middle blocker was right there, ready for it. And a timeout called by Bangkok Glass. <laughs> 11 to 7 is our score. Valero Zurich opening up a four point lead. At this point, Bangkok Glass is already out of timeouts here in set number one. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's not going to be easy for uh, Coach K if this goes. Um, if they go head to head. Yeah, that's right. The last part of this set. Here comes Frazier. Nice play there by uh, Sylvia Popovich. Nice block from Nokwa. Nokwa, we all know what she can do defensively, although Nokwa in the recent Asian Championships looked like she was a giant. Now she's up against <laughs> a bunch of giants. And that's what I wanted to point out. When you look at Nokwa compared to that, that attack from uh, Valero or from all of the six players from Valero, she looks so small. That's right, she looks like an open spiker. Quick attack, that is too strong. And the nice thing about the pressure that Bangkok Glass is applying right now, Denise, is Volero Zurich is now lapsing into a few errors. Yeah, actually, I mean, it's a two-point lead for Volero, but I think they've committed uh, at least three or four errors already, petty errors at that. That's right. Here's the serve now coming up from Gethard. Go to that utility spot and just too much power coming from the wings for Valero Zurich. And they know how to use their blockers. They didn't force that attack. They just tried to hit it off the hands of the Bangkok players of Nokwa that time. So the serve now belonging to Dobriana. Rabadzeva. Oh, that's a good idea by Frazier. Just came up short. Uh -huh. Good intention, poor execution. 
But at least you see uh, Fraser really variating her plays right now. Right. She got blocked, she got blocked like two, three times in a row a while ago. 13 to nine. Valero Zurich up by four. Another good serve coming from Dobriana. Oh. And again, that double block seems to be impregnable. That is now a five-point lead for Valero Zurich. Where Orlova is just solid yeah. at the net. So Rabatzeva out of Bulgaria. Put it in play once again. Nice. Oh, at the run, Nokwa <laughs> able to get it done for backup glass. That's a very good play coming from Korn uh, Poon. They've been going to that outside attack. They've been getting blocked, and this time she goes for the slide to Nokwa. Frazier now in the back. Frazier's going through. to that powerful jump serve of hers. Easily returned, nice. and just a simple tip over coming from Ekaterina Orlova. Orlova, knowing the defense of Bangkok last, they were getting ready for that long hit. We have some of the best players in the world in this competition. Orlova, of course, one of them out of Russia, part of that Russian team that won the 2014 the European Championship. Orlova on the serve. Frazier gets part. Off the block. Here comes Valero Zurich. Great defense at the net this time. Coming from uh, Brav Narong. Maliwan. Who says you have to be tall? You have a great block. That was a combination of Kokwa and Maliwan Brav Narong. Well, it's really all about timing. Lead is down to four. Kokwa on the serve. Nice. Oh, wow, you wow. can see that coming a mile away. Toluki Akinradevo was on her horse. She got that done against the hapless defense of Bangkok Glass. And take a look at it again, Denise. The Soldier Fast Bike is presented to us by PLDT Home Altera. Plan 699, ang internet na pampamilya. That's going to be a service error, though. <laughs> So the only thing keeping Bangkok Glass in yeah, this first set have been the errors. Yeah, it's those kinds of uh, petty errors. 16 to 12. Maliwan on the serve. And set. Single block defied easily, but great defense by Bangkok Glass, and that's going to lead to that attack for a score. That was a good setup job by Point Puan. It was a quicker set. And so the middle blocker of Volero was late. And there's going to be a timeout now called by Volero Zurich. Our score is 16-13. Volero Zurich up and only by three. Bangkok Glass has been leading on their entire teamwork to try to keep this one close. And their defensive efforts have actually been paying off of late. Yeah, and off that timeout, it seemed like Coach Zoran from the Valero team was, you know, not really happy. That's right. Even though they had a they have a three-point lead. Oh, a detonation coming from Foluke Akinra Devo. She's been really deadly with that slide attack. Yeah, but credit the set as oh, well. That's yeah. a one-handed set from Fabiola de Souza. That's when Brazil and the United States connect. Four-point lead for Valero Zurich. Oh, too low. That's a, yeah, that's a very low set for Plumjit. Akira Devo once again. That's going nice. to go through nicely done that time by Willavan Apinyapong. Well, Willavan very deceiving in that last attack. She was facing zone five already. Right. And then last second goes for the down the line hit. And Bolero was not really ready for it. Apinyapong now in the back. De Souza. Lifts it up, and that's going to be too strong. Coming from uh, Natalia Mamadova. Well, Mamadova was way under the ball, I think. That's right. She is the team captain. And this lead is only two points. Apinya Pong once again. Souza choosing a different target this time. And she will get a different result as Dobriana Rabatseva is able to put it away. 18 to 15 in favor of Valero Zurich. 
Takinra Dewa now up to serve. The glasses are off for Akinra Dewa. See if that's going to help her try to put away Bangkok Glass. D'Souza down the middle. Again, great floor defense for Bangkok Glass. They just can't translate it into offense at this point. And that's going to go off the hands of the defense. Nicely done by Dobriana Rabatseva. And I think that was the goal for Dobriana to just, uh, you know, let it fly, but use the hands of the block. 19-15, Valero Zurich. And Akin Radewo puts it in play once again. Nice serve this time. Frazier finds an open spot. And if you're the quicker team, that's exactly what you want to exploit. Use your speed against a very yeah. tall defense. Well, if you don't have height, you have to use your speed definitely. Because especially here, I mean, you have to, you have to find the open area. You have to find the gap. That's just right between two defenders. Ultra fast spike brought to us by PLDG Home Altera Plan 699. Ang pinaka kayang internet na pampamilya. The Plumjit on the serve. And the attack there by Rahyuk. Plumjit from the back. We're gonna go to Rahyuk also from the back as she puts something on that, but it hits the antenna. Again, these errors. I wouldn't be surprised if Boleros committed more errors in this first set, Denise. Yeah, I think uh, five, six petty errors. They've been giving away points. That's right. Lungjit changes it up on the serve. Great defense by Fraser. Good timing. And the ace, former Asian champions have now cut this down to one against the wildcard qualifiers from Switzerland. Can they tie it up on the serve of the captain? We go to a combination play. This time, Dobriana gets it off the hands to score again. So 20 to 18. Bolero Zurich five points away from claiming this very tightly contested first set. Too strong, another Unforced uh -huh. error. The 2019 chance to tie once again for Bangkok Glass. Here's their setter, Born Pun Gedpard. To near the nice. net. No problem, however, for D'Souza as she reaches and hands, hands it over to Orlova. That was very smart by D'Souza. When she went up, she knew that her blocker or the blocker in front of her, beside her, Went up as well. Yeah. Single block's uh -huh. not gonna do it against the uh, Russia and Katarina Orlova. Bolero four points away from taking set number one. Get barred. Again for Ngokwa. Now in the front, that's gonna be a problem as Rahyuk gets it done. We're gonna get the official height of these young ladies <laughs> in just a few moments, but Rahyuk. Started off pretty well, now wants to finish it off for Valero Zurich. 22, 19. And that block is gonna go out. So uh, Milawan Prabnarong able to cut it down to two. Bangkok Glass trying to stay in this one. Ashley Frazier now. Jump serve, fielded well. Back set again. And if you're gonna only put one blocker on Rahyuk, that's almost guaranteeing a point. And it's obvious, you give it back to Olesia because she has a shorter blocker in front of her. So it's right. gonna be easier for her to go over, the, the, uh, over that block. That is just a shot that has no answer. Serving right now, Orlova. Oh. And she targeted the right person. <laughs> Ashley Frazier couldn't keep it in. Now we have four set points for Valero Zurich. <laughs> Serving for the set. Ekaterina Orlova. Get part. Oh, oh, they're going to give this yeah. one up. Chance to put this away cleanly. 
There goes the captain, Mamadova, but that is dug up from the back. Frazier still alive. Wokwa. Mamadova, single block that time, coming from Maliwa Trantarong. And that's the kind of effort that you want from your players. Even though it looked like um, Valera was just trying to send it back over, you still go for that block. Right. Base dividends down. Here's the young Vietnamese. Ding Quang win. But she will hit it into the net. And that will give set number one to Valero Zurich, but not without a fight from Bangkok Glass. Yeah, I mean, I think Bangkok Glass gave a good effort, but it all came down, talking about both teams, to those petty errors that they committed all right. throughout the set. So 25 21, the score after set number one. Stay with us, we will be right back. And back to this here, ladies and gentlemen, at the Mall of Asia Arena, Pasay City, Philippines. Some of the highlights from set number one. It was an uphill struggle for Valero Zurich. They actually uh, couldn't put away Bangkok Glass, but in the end, you know, a bunch of errors did, uh, did the uh, Bangkok Glass ladies in. But of course, the defense of Valero Zurich was also a catalyst in that first set win. Their defense was... Uh... I wouldn't say it was on point, but they did a good job. Right. Uh, of course, adding to that was their offense. You have Fuluka, you have uh, Olesia, uh, you have Natalia, their team captain, all contributing to that. And not to mention the fact that Fabiola de Souza also did a pretty good job distributing that ball very well. So looking at the numbers, um, you can see here Valera having two service aces, but the attacks, uh, 15 to 9. So you can just see that their offense was more effective in set number one. Uh, even though they had more errors yeah. uh, in that set. But, yeah. you know, if you think about it, if they committed less errors, then this would have finished earlier. Yeah, the, the surprising number here, actually, in the blocks department, Bangkok Glass holding their own against a very uh -huh. tall Valero Zurich, 5-4 to four in that regard. And we actually did see two blocks from 5'8", uh, Milawan Prabnarong at she, the net. And she was up against... Um, a player who's about at six, least, six. yeah, I was gonna say at least six three, That's but right. so it really is, it says that it says a lot about you know the importance of timing when it comes to blocking. It's not all about height. But they can draw a lot of positives. She can take a look at the Zoran Terzic, the head coach of Valero Zurich, just coming off a silver medal performance in the Rio Olympics for Team Serbia. In fact, he has brought two of his players from Serbia into this team. We're talking about uh, Bojana Zivkovic, who has not yet seen action, and their libero, who's all over the floor, Silvia Popovic. And those are the two silver medalists for coach Zoran Terzic of Valero Zurich. Of course, Valero Zurich has had a long history with regards to uh, being the number one team in Switzerland. It's only in 2009 since they joined in 2005. It's only 2009 where they did not win the Swiss Championship. Well, they won it 11 That's times. Right. So, you know, this team knows how uh, they have championship experience. That's true. And they know how to do it. And again, coming off a third place finish in this same tournament last year. So we are about to begin set number two. Once again, glad to have you with us. Noel Zarate with Denise Tan. That's going to be a good dig. Coming from Bolero Zurich, that is on the line. So that attack coming from Dobriana Rabatzeva. Yeah, young Bulgarian getting the first point for Bolero Zurich. And uh, Fabiola de Souza. Brazilian up to serve. Get by. On the back set, that is going to work for Milawan Prab Narong. You know, she's been performing pretty well, not only on offense, yeah. even her defense in the first set was a big factor. Well, it's nice if you have someone, you know, not as tall, but uh, who could perform that way, so your opponent really isn't expecting. It's always uh, also good to have a left-handed utility mm -hmm. spiker. As you can see in that one, Pravnarong on the serve. Tied at one. Off the block, and I think this is how Polero Zurich can score a majority of their points. Yeah, Off the hands of the smaller blockers. Yes. So two to one for Bolero Zurich. Once again, they are one of the four wild cards. 
in this competition. They're doing very well. Nice, nice. combination play. Everybody gravitated towards Plum Jin and Willavan puts it away. Well, again, we go back to that speed over height factor. If you can't beat them with their, you know, f physical abilities right. or physical traits, you have to use your head. That's just a great execution on that ultra fast spike presented to us by PLDT Home Altera Plan 699. Ang internet na pampamilya. Good defense by Plum Jin. There's Willavan. We'll go to the other side now for the captain, Pamadova. Again, good floor defense coming from back up glass. Back set. Cross court beauty coming from Rahio. Rahio is really all over this Bangkok glass team. He's going over them, literally. Rahio able to get that one done. Yeah, they tried to close the down the line, but cross court was so wide open. Yeah, and it's a bigger target for her. 3 2 Volero. Nice serve. Frazier lifting this one up for Willavan. And Willavan using the drop shot. Yep. Great last second decision. No one was uh, ready to get that ball behind the blockers. Mokwa will come back in front for Bangkok Glass. And here's the captain, Plumjit Tinkau. No combination coming that time. Good block there coming from Win. Cross court, dug up well this time by Maliwan. Floor defense has been excellent for Bangkok Glass, except that time Plumjit gave it her best. Just too much power yeah. coming on that shot from Alessia Riccio. Uh, right here. Four to three, Bolero Zurich. Again, you have eight of the best teams in the world. We expect, you know, a lot of close matches here, Denise. Yeah, of course. I mean, the first game, we all thought that uh, back in our Turkey was in yes. control of the match, but it turned out it still went to four. Isamitsu was able to steal the third set in that one. And it's going to be another point for Valero Zurich. Again, she has so many weapons. Uh, for Luke Eric uh, Akinra Dewo, she uses her power. That time, just used a bit of finesse. Nice. Oh, that's nicely done there. My get part going to uh, Nguyen. Hortwin also recognizing uh, that Nguyen wouldn't have any blockers in front right. of her. Yeah, she's more known for her defense. But I guess hanging out with Bloom Jin has helped her a lot <laughs> in the, with regards to her all-around game. D'Souza was in trouble. They still recycled this one. And how about that? Almost got away with it. Maliwa, just a lot of courage for this young lady. But again, she was up against the trees. 6-4. Four, Volero Zurich. Uh -huh. And that is overcooked from Natalia Mamadova. The captain with a service error. Now, this brings up the American Ashley Frazier, one of two imports for Bangkok Glass. It's her second time in the Philippines, actually. And she gets that one down. That's just a great serve coming from Ashley Frazier. To tie it up at six. So Frazier trying to give Bangkok Glass the lead. Uh oh, that's not a good release though. Yeah. Lucky to get that one across. And that will cost them on the attack by Dobriana Rabatzeva. Uh, Rabatzeva was left all alone with uh, just one blocker and one short blocker in front of her. That, of course, was an ultra fast spike presented to us by PLDT Homo Serra. Plan 699 of Pinaka Kai Internet of Pampamilia. Bolero Zurich nursing a one point lead. And Akinra Dewo on the serve once again. Get part, setting it to nice. the other side. That was a quick release coming from Willavana Pinyapong. And again, you have to have those quick sets. Doesn't matter. 
If it's an outside hit or an outside play, speed over height, that's what the Bangkok Glass is going for. You get the feeling now that Bangkok Glass is starting to warm up after losing in set number one. Here's Ngok Kwa, Win Ngok Kwa. That's a simple play, well defended though by Ngok Kwa. Frazier gets it across. De Souza again, Ngok Kwa with the oh. defense and a jump shot that works. Coming from Fort Foot, uh -huh. get part. You know, it's really simple, but when you think about it, you wouldn't really expect it because right. if we have, you know, a good setter like Fort Foot, you would expect her to set up a play. But right here, everyone, everyone was just looking at it, <laughs> not expecting the ball at all. But again, credit Ngok Kwa for keeping that oh, alive yeah. for Bangkok class. And they get angry. Bolero Zurich leads on to Brianna Rabatseva once again. Tied at eight as we take a look at this ultra fast spike presented to us by PLD Homo Terra. Plan 699, ang pinakaabot kayang internet na pampamilya. Tied at eight. And another service error. Now, this has been a problem for Valero Zurich here in the second set. Yeah, because they've been getting those points, but they can't, couldn't really, you know, rack it up. Yeah. Because if you want to win in a set, most especially, I mean, in volleyball, you have to get points like three, four, five in a row. Right, just to build momentum. Yes. So, Milawan Prabnarong on the serve. De Souza cross court. That's almost a decapitation on uh, the uh, libero of Bangkok Glass. That's uh, Dinkum Porn Shang Kiao. Lucky to still have her head on <laughs> after that attack. Tied at nine. There's the drop shot. That time is red. Lumjit can't score. Uh. Oh, great delay. Everybody's in front. Now they go to the cross court, and that has been working for Alessia Rakyuk. So Rakyuk able to give the lead back to Valero Zurich. Well, again, she only has one blocker. And the thing is, uh, for Bangkok, they've been going to that one block system. They have to be more steady or more solid on the floor. Another service error for Valero Zurich. It's like their third already in the yeah, set. Yeah, and it's not even like half of the set. Right. Remember back in the first set, they had eight errors. So Willavana Pinyapong on the serve. De Souza gets it up to the captain and that is no problem coming from Natalia Mamadova. The Valero Zurich once again reclaiming the lead. 11 to 10. Ekaterina Orlova out of Russia. Up to serve. Good defense at the net by oh. Point Point. That was just barely kept alive, but again, you know what? Think of Point, the uh, Libero of Bangkok class is going to need a big massage after this game. <laughs> She's been taking hit after hit that's after been, hit. That's right. That's assassination attempt after assassination attempt averted by the young libero of Bangkok Glass. Get part on the run from Jit. Kept alive by Akin Radewo. And that's going to be off the hands of Get part. So now the height is becoming a factor yeah. once again. For Valero Zurich. But you see, uh, what I noticed is they're not even switching. It seems like Porn Poon is actually the one blocking in the middle. That's so it's, you know, an advantage now for uh, Valero. Our score right now Valero Zurich 13, Bangkok Glass 10. Bangkok Glass has actually been keeping this close. They have been performing very well, except, of course, the physical traits or the physical advantages of uh, Valero Zurich might be starting to be too much for the very small team out of Thailand. Well, at least the effort is there and they're keeping it close. Just three points behind this uh, tall team. Make that four as Ashley Frazier misses the line. 14 to 10 now for Valero Zurich. Up to serve now, Katerina Orlova. And if you're watching on television saying, boy, these girls are tall, you're right. 
They are. <laughs> I'm going to look like a midget. I remember you interviewing uh, the two young Swiss players from Valero Zurich. We haven't even seen action here today as, they, uh, as Ashley Frazier is able to score. And you, Denise, you're about 5'10". Around that height, yeah. and I was wearing high heels at that <laughs> time right. when I was talking to them. Well, let's first take a look at this ultra-fast bike presented to us by PLDT Home Alterna Plan 699, the internet of Pampamilia. You look like a libero. <laughs> exactly. Beside 23-year-old <laughs> and a 17-year-old. We haven't seen action yet in this game. Good defense by Bangkok Glass. Frazier oh, wow. turned back there oh, by Alicia right here. Alicia really helping her team offense-wise, defense-wise. She's always there at the net, just ready to get that point. And think about it, she just came yeah. off the ground. Well, it pays to be about six foot four, six long. foot five, yes. Very long arms. And right here once again on the serve. Down the middle they go to Willa Van. There's going to be a net. Yeah. Oh, she stepped, she stepped on the on line. That's an illegal back row attack against Bangkok Glass. 16 11. As we have a timeout called by Bangkok Glass. 16 11, Bolero Zurich. Enjoying a five-point lead, we can say enjoying because the floor defense has been there for Bangkok Glass, but the offense has definitely belonged to the young ladies of, out of Switzerland. <laughs> Except that time, nice drop shot working for uh, Tikmok Wang Win. But again, just seeing the defense of uh, Volero, that whole zone four was uh, quite open, or was really open for that drop shot. Now to serve for Born Poon Gedpard. Been doing a great job orchestrating for Bangkok Glass. That is an over reception and an easy put away there coming from Win. It was a good hit as well. She, she, she didn't uh, go for that powerful hit. Um, doesn't mean that if you have an over reception, you have to hit it hard. We have our first substitution of the game for Bangkok Glass. So seeing her first action is with Dita Bali. They need to go through the correct substitution process. Of course, our second referee, Hernan, out of Argentina, making sure that that happens. So it's a new setter now coming in for Bangkok Glass. They're going to try Bali. So we beat the Bali, staring at a three point deficit. And our first referee, Taufik, out of Tunisia, says, let's get it on. Ooh. Sent in to serve and rams that into the net. The lead is four now for Valero Zurich. So up to serve this time for Valero Zurich. Our first look now at Mariana Costa, who's in the game for the first time as well, out of Brazil. One of the two Brazilians on the team, and Aguilera says, make it a little stronger next time. Well, Red, and you can do something like that. Again, you, you can't just tip it over and tip it to their hands. Right. It's like you're giving it to them. Mariana Costa, the 30-year-old, out of Brazil. Utita, setting it over to Maliwan. Tita tries again, this time going down the middle for Ngokwa. Back set, Akim Radewa dug up well. Ashley Frazier can't put it away. D'Souza. And that is a great denial, but they're saying it, yeah. hit, it hit the antenna. The entire team going over to referee Taufik. They will challenge this, yeah. and rightfully so. I thought it hit the hands of um, Fraser first. We have to double check. Yes. Yes, it did, right? And I think Volero Zurich might win this challenge. From that angle alone, let's let's see it from this one. Yeah. Yep. That was off Fraser's uh -huh. hand into the antenna, so the point will go to Volero Zurich. And that's the reason why all six players from Volero went up to the first referee. Normally, right. the players. They know it already that the team captain is the only one who could address the first referee, but 
Well, let's just say, let's they, just say that just so sure. I would think that only uh, Natalia Mamadova was the one speaking in English. Just to be sure. Yeah. <laughs> So 19-13, the lead is six. This is the biggest in the match so far for Bolero Zurich. That is cut down to five on another drop shot coming from Nguyen Mokwa. And again, it's really all about the smart when you play volleyball. Mokwa, knowing that when she goes for an off-time hit, the blocks will be off their timing as well. Right. The jump serve of Ashley Frazier has been returned effortlessly so far, except that time, a little bit of an over-reception. Widita on the back set now for Willavan. And Mokwa can't put it away. Willavan, that is just pure aggression shown by Bangkok Glass. Momentum is on their side, yeah. so they really have to be aggressive at this point if they want to catch up. Ashley Frazier had a service ace earlier. And that time just misses the line. So it is 19 yeah. to 15. They're going to challenge it. They will challenge this to see if it did land on the line. That was a pretty quick serve. You can see Ashley Frazier. I don't know how you can tell from way back there if your serve went in. But might as well. You do have a challenge allowed per set. Oh, that was oh, way yeah. inside. Way inside. Good challenge by Coach K. You know what? Whether, whether or not you're sure if it went in, you have to challenge it because once you reach that 20 point mark or that 19 point, oh yeah, 20 point mark, it's uh, going to be harder for you to catch up. That's right. Oh. However, that's a good response from Dobriana Rabadziba. Yeah, Dobriana saw that the defender was uh, kind of squeezed in near the attack line. That was a. Uh, yeah. So now, just a four-point lead, or now a four-point lead, with Dita. Nice. And Willavan just using her speed that time. Again. And she's, she's always been uh, uh, getting it through the gap of the block. Mokwa now in the back to serve. Late reaction there by Costa. But, however, it's still a good result coming from Dobriana Rabatseva. And at this point, Bolero Zurich Denise would just love to trade points with Bangkok Glass. Serving right now, Fabiola de Souza. And another strong attack there. Coming from Willavan, drop shot, Redwell. Did they translate it into attack? That one never even crossed from Maliwan Prabnarong. Yeah, it was well read by the two blockers of uh, Bolero. They were standing right in front of her. And uh, Maliwan being, you know, 5'8". Yes. On a good day, too. <laughs> Three points away from taking a two sets to nothing lead in this match. Uh, Make that two points away. As that Eric reception led to a put away coming from Rabat Zevas, done a little bit of everything today for Valero Zurich. Serve once again, coming from De Souza. With Dita sending it to the back, and Ashley Frazier scores. A little bit of a rally being shown. By Bangkok Glass, they do know it takes 25 points to win a set. Down by five right now. Maliwan Prabnarong. Off the hands once again. It seems so effortless for Alesha yeah. Raikyuk. Well, she is taller, but uh, what she's doing right now is just really uh, hitting it off the, I mean, Pumjit's hands. Right. A while ago. So six set points. Oh. They got five set points on the service error. 24 19. Now, this brings up Willavan of India Pong. Willavan has been this little package of dynamite yeah. for Bangkok Glass. It's going to be set up by Popovich instead. The 
D'Souza sending it back and another cross court bomb will end it for Alicia right heel. 25-19 is the score in set number two so far. It has been a uh, show of dominance for Bolero Zurich. Nice fight being shown by Bangkok Glass. But again, the uh, physical advantages of Bolero Zurich has just led to them taking a two sets to nothing lead. Yeah, I mean, they've been uh, going over the block of uh, Bangkok Glass, and every time those players, most especially Olesia, goes up for the kill, it turns out to be somewhat like an automatic point for them. Back with us here, ladies and gentlemen. Third set is about to begin, but so far it has just been full throttle for Valero Zurich in this match. Oh yeah, they've been dominating this match, especially in that second set. You know, they committed a lot of errors, but even with those, uh, players like Kuluke, Mariana, Olesia, um, everybody was just um, giving it their all. And uh, Fab Fabiola de Souza just really, oh, yeah. uh, you know, uh, distributing that ball very well. So the defense of Bang Bangkok was more confused with the, whether who they need to defend. Now, of course, she's not the reigning best setter of this tournament for nothing. But she, she is playing with a new team. As we take a look at some of those numbers from set number two, pretty similar except that the errors have lessened now yes. for Valero Zurich and no response in the black uh, block department coming from Bangkok Glass. And uh, I think that's the reason why they had a bigger lead also ending that second set is because they lessened their errors, um, still dominated in terms of attacks, uh, didn't get any service ace, but nonetheless, again, offense-wise, defense-wise, Valera, Valero had a better showing in that last set. Valero Zurich, of course, the reigning bronze medalist in this tournament. But their setter, um, Fabiola de Souza, actually comes from the silver medalist squad. Dynamo uh, Krasnodar out of Russia. And uh, they recruited her in here for this one. And again, our look at Zoran Terzic. And I guess there's going to be no let up now for Valero Zurich. Of course, we did uh, remember what happened in our first encounter where uh, the uh, Istanbul squad sort of took their foot off the gas yes. and Himatsu, he, he, uh, the Japanese squad just came back and stole the third set. Well, that can happen here. Again, going back to our score, it was 25-21 in the first set, 25-19 in the second set. It's not that big of a difference. Right. So uh, as long as uh, Bangkok can really uh, put their foot on the pedal yeah. and uh, better their D, if they could get this third. Frazier starting it off with one of those hard serves. However, the counter attack is going to go out. The first point of the third belongs to Bangkok Glass. Bangkok Glass have actually been that dominant in the Asian circuit. They did win the uh, 2015 Asian Club Championships to make it here, but did lose in this year's edition. Tied at one right now. Up to serve, Ekaterina Orlova. Has also been playing very well. Nice sharp serve. Now go to the wing for Apinya Pong. Free ball given up. This is a rare one. From Valero Zurich, Apinya Paul makes yeah, the pay. Yeah. It's those low, quick sets for Willavan that has been working and has been helping Bangkok Glass. So two to one for Bangkok Glass. Again, if your coach Zoran Perisic and the rest of Valero Zurich, you don't want to take your foot off the gas yeah. at any moment here. You can't be too complacent here. Right. Oh, what a set. <laughs> and what a delivery. Uh -huh. Coming from Makindra Dewo. Tied at two. We take a look at this one again. Again, the Souza is just so experienced already. Of course, the Souza was Brazil's setter when they finished third in the World Championship not too long ago. Service ace this time. Coming from Raikyuk. The young lady out of the Ukraine to serve once again. 
This time, overcooks it. Tied at three. Of course, the other team to have yet to see some, uh, some of the teams from Group A, that of course features as well the host nation, the Philippines, the PSL F2 Logistics Squad. That's another point for Valero Zurich. And in Pool A, actually, we do have another team from Istanbul. That is Petra Istanbul, plus the European champions, Casal Mayore, and the South American champions, Rixona Rio. A lot of good games coming up. Yep. Here's Get Part. Boom Jit. That is off the block. So the pace has now sort of gone the way of Bangkok Glass. They want to keep this one slow. Yeah, they got to get it uh, one point at a time. On her horse, Popovich can't oh. save it. The lead now belongs to Bangkok Glass. Sylvia Popovich, a member of the uh, silver medal squad from Serbia in the recent Olympics. Couldn't get it done. And she's having her problems again. Now a two-point lead for Bangkok Glass. Zoran, really not looking happy. Yeah, he has another libero in uh, Gizem Karadai out of Turkey who has not seen action in this game. Good serve once again, coming from Willavan. Again, there was denied at the net. Get barred, and that is just long from Lumjit. Six to five, Bangkok still on top. And the American Faluki Akedradewo up to serve. She started this game with the glasses. She took it off, yeah. off. Yeah. She's become more powerful since. <laughs> Frazier denied. Frazier tries again. Akedradewo gets a hand on it. Get barred on the run, from Jit. Good cover by Bangkok Glass. Frazier, long rally ongoing. This is our first really long rally. Triple block will deny Mamadova. Well, Mamadova, it was a, I think a, the set was quite low for her. But then again, Point Poon was there. Timing it well. Think about it, the setter has been getting a few block points here and there for Bangkok Glass. Lumjit. D'Souza. That one is clearly in. Yeah, clearly in. Coming from Dobriana Rabatseva. Lead is one for Bangkok Glass. D'Souza. A little bit of a gallop before her serve. Get part with a surprise. So good. Get part on the run. Mokwa. Still kept alive. One more time around, Bangkok Glass, Frazier off the block, good! Popovic is having a hard time uh, yeah. adjusting. I know that was she, a high ball. That's right, I don't know if she pulled the muscle or something, but, yeah, but here's the third set, she's a bit slow now. Uh -huh. Serve once again for Get Part, it's a beauty. And that is just a very sharp one. Coming from Olesha, right heel. Yeah, Olesha has a big target, a middle blocker and opposite blocker. Wasn't in sync. So right heel will cut it down to one. And about Zeva now on the serve. Get guard. Going over to Prabnarong. Mamadova. Yeah, somebody touched it before it went out, yeah. so that's going to be a point. For Valero here, tied at eight. Mamadova targeted the left hand of uh, Win Nokha. Got about Zeva once again, this time trying to give Valero Zurich the lead. And she cannot. The service has really been a problem for Valero yeah. Zurich. 
Ashley Frazier. Trying to protect this one point lead. Her serve gets lucky. And as we say, Denise, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Yeah, exactly. So 10 8. We're going to have a substitution here for Volero Zurich. Our first look now at Irina Malkova out of Russia, replacing uh, her fellow, her, her countrywoman, Ekaterina Orlova. That's a sharp one. Yeah. Of course, Irina Malkova and uh, Ekaterina Ornova were teammates in the 2014 World Championship, which they won. So, definitely a good addition to this team. Bangkok Glass up by one. Malkova. And there nice. is a nice off speed attack on the quick play coming from uh, Mokwa. And the good thing about it was that. Um, Nokwa was coming from the right side, so her motion was actually towards the left side, but she twists her body yeah. going going to the opposite side. That surprised Malkova. Quick play, and that is going to work for Akira Devo. That is the definition of a quick play. Again, credit the good reception mm -hmm. as well to make that happen at the excellent setting from Fabiola de Souza. Eleven ten, Bangkok Glass, however, still on top. And right Yuk, able to get the ace. Tied at eleven right now. And I don't know if it's a case of Bolero Zurich uh, relaxing or Bangkok Glass just starting to heat up once again. Well, I think it's both. Yeah. Mamadova. Get the live, and nobody there to stop Akin Nadeo. Yeah, no one even went up to try and block that. Akin Nadeo is now taking it upon herself to put Bangkok Glass away. Now the lead now belongs to Bolero Zurich. Rabatseva, get barred. Feeds it over to Plumjit. Mamadova, turned back that time by Prabnarong. Too low, Frazier too out low. of position. Yeah. I think she wasn't expecting that. She wasn't expecting to get that ball. Right. And not at that height. It is 13-11. Volero Zurich timeout called by Bangkok Glass. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out the Ultra Fun family of the game that is presented to us by PLDT Home Altera Plan 699. A pinaka kayang internet na pang pamilya. And they are people starting to uh, move into our venue, the Mall of Asia Arena. As we have Natalia Mamadova scoring once again to give Bolero now a three point lead. Of course, we do have two more matches today. The final match will, of course, feature Team Philippines or the uh, PSL F2 Logistics team. Drop shot, almost works. And there's Klumjit. Not for long. So Klumjit, former Asian MVP, becoming a factor. Well, she has been quiet, but uh, finally, she connects with point four, and that, that slide attack hasn't been working as much as they wanted to. That lead is down to two. Prabnarong on the serve. De Souza on the run, Akin Nadewo. That's Willavan on the attack. Lumjit. Still cannot be put away here by Bolero. And Popovich was down for a while. Oh, no, she was trying to get up, but uh, I think she was slipping. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing the ball didn't come her way. Well, that was a hitting error against Bangkok Glass. That situation would help. I've fallen and I can't get up. They didn't need her that time though. Mamadova. Oh, gonna go out. And the service error continues to play. Bolero Zurich. 15 to 13. For the team out of Switzerland. 
Pina Bong on the serve. Adjustment by Rabatzeva, still can't get it done. Frazier, that is gonna go out. That lead is down to one, Denise. Well, they have been using, again, the block properly. And they can't go through them, can't go over them. Just use, yeah. use the hands. Coming in once again, Mariana Costa. Take the place of uh, Mamadova. The captain takes a brief rest. Pena Pong serving once again. That lead was three earlier. Now it's up to two once again. As uh, Akira Dewa just uses the hands mm. on the defense. Well, really, you don't have to force it. If it's there, just to take advantage of it. Right. 16 14, Bolero Zurich. And for Luke Akinradewa once again, up to serve. Get barred. On the second ball, tries to slap it over. And is given up by Bolero Zurich. Get barred turns herself into an attacker, but will miss. It was obvious that it was going to go out. It was under the ball. And no spin. There was no spin on it. But she is the setter. And that mistake now gives a three-point lead to Valero Zurich. Akin Radewa once again. That one is going to go out. And they have been making a lot of those service errors. At least three by my count. Here in the third. Yeah, in the third, you're right. Oh, there's going to be a challenge on that last serve. So Zoran Terzic challenging that that serve was in. We couldn't tell from our angle, Denise. So Akin Radeo actually was uh, serving, was already replaced by Popovich, and it's uh, way out. Yeah. So back to the bench goes for Luke Akin Radeo. Well, it's better to try. Yeah, I mean, you it's, do have extra, it. it's a point. That's right. That lead is only two points, however, for Valero Zurich. Plumjit. Nice, sharp serve. Too low. And that's just great single blocking coming from Ashley Frazier. Well time. Again, Valero Zurich, Denise, they cannot take this team lightly. Yes. They were up by four already earlier, now it's down to one. Can't take any team lightly. This is the World Championships. That's a better response there coming from Valero Zurich. I think they heard us. That is the first point in the match for Irina Malkova. And now D'Souza. Up to serve. That one is going to sail out. It's too much, too much service errors coming from this Valero team. That's what the Zorger is going to look at with regards to the videos and the film at the end of this match. Their lead is down to one. Combination play, and that is going to be in on the attack coming from Alessia right here. No, Alessia not even uh, attempting to go cross court. She had uh, Maliwan in front of her. Up to serve right now will be Dobriana Rabatzeva. Down the middle, Frazier denied there by Malkova. Souza has many targets to choose from, but the target she chose Sets it out of bounds. That was right here. Bolero 19, Bangkok Glass 18. Serve coming from Ashley Frazier. Combination play. That is a sharp one coming from the Brazilian Mariana Costa. And it's nice if you can, uh, if you have a setter that you can turn into an attacker. So it doesn't matter who gets the first ball, right. who gets the second one, as long as you can keep on attacking and keep on getting those points. Could have fooled me. She looked like an open spiker. <laughs> I know. When she did that, Malkova. Good serve. And there is a yeah. down the line spike coming from Willavana Pinapong. 
Yeah, Willavan has been doing that all throughout the match. Facing cross court, last second going for that zone one. 20, 19. Bangkok class just won't go away. Bokwa on the serve. Back set and no problem that time. Marekyo. Now Alesha Raikyo gives Bolero Zurich another two-point lead. And a substitution coming in. Frazier is going to take a seat. And they will bring in uh, Jutarat Mont Montribila, who was actually in the starting lineup during the Asian uh, Championships just a few months ago. Now she's in the back to play defense. Service error again uh -huh. being a problem for Valero Zurich. Well, this is why I think they couldn't, they can't close this set earlier, but I think they could. And again, you have to go back to that body back coming to match up earlier where the score looked pretty much like this. However, another point for Valero Zurich. Twenty-two to twenty. Mariana Costa. Get far down the middle. That is going to go in for Montepila. And again, Montepila during the Asian Championships, one of their leading scorers. Uh -huh. They're trying out the new um, six right here. Right. Because they have been comfortable with that first six back in the ABC. However, still no answer for Tobiana Rabatseva. And at this point, again, Bolero Zurich would just love to trade points with Bangkok Glass. And a timeout called. And it is 23 to 21. Bolero Zurich, two points away from a straight set win. However, Bangkok Glass has been making it quite interesting with their floor defense. The party atmosphere is starting to begin here for Valero Zurich as Akendra Dewa is back to serve. And there is Ken Park surprising everybody. Akendra Dewa sky balls it back. Quick play for Plumjit. Bangkok class isn't done yet oh, here, Denise. Yeah. They're just down by one point. They could easily turn this around as long as they do not commit those petty errors. And look at this, the Asian legend now up to serve. Lumjit trying to tie it up. D'Souza, back set, good defense that time by Bangkok Glass. Lumjit kept alive by Popovich. Adjustment and that oh. one goes out coming from Raikyo. Tied at 23. Again, we have to go back to those Petty unforced errors right. committed by Volero. They've been up all throughout the match. Lumjit trying to give Bangkok Glass their first set point of the match. Oh, nice cut shot there coming from Dobriana Rabatseva. Completely fooling the defense. Dobriana wants to finish this early. So we have match point for Volero Zurich. D'Souza tries to put it away. Get fired. And a great defense after that. That's going to do it. Dobriana Rabatseva is able to play defense. And a hard-earned, albeit straight sets win for, Bo for uh, Bolero Zurich against Bangkok Glass. They pick up win number one in this very short competition as we take a look at this one again. That cross-court bomb was one of the catalysts in the win, but of course the defense towards the end is Gokwa went one-on-one -on -one against Dobriana Rabatseva. And she gets the job done for Volero Zurich. So it is a straight sets win for the team out of Switzerland. Remember, they are a wild card in this competition. That is confirmation of our final score, 25 to 13 in the third set. So good struggle shown by Bangkok Glass, but in the end, the taller Volero Zurich 
laced with a few Olympians here and there, a few European champions here and there. Also able to get it done. 